Ultra Video Pirate T. Oi. I just want to make this quick video installing this TP Link PCI Express Adapter. It's a 300 megabit per second. It only supports wireless. And I went to a local computer store. As you can see, I paid $25.99 for it. And I just need something quick so I can have wireless. And they didn't have any AC wireless cards. And so I just pick this the price isn't too bad TP link and they included a small generic box that just has this is a bracket that you can install this is for a smaller case those really you know small thin computer cases I'm trying to install it in a cooler master I have a cooler master this is a quad core with a gigabyte motherboard and you have to kind of excuse my mess, but I've got a lot of wires here. This is this is a, the, you know, for a smaller type computer, so this isn't going to work. And then there was a quick installation guide that came in the box, a little technical support. And then there was a drivers. Now, I might not need the drivers disk. The box says it supports up to Windows 7. I'm running Windows 10. And then there were two really small antennas. I have I have longer antennas that I probably will hook up. You can do that. You just have to. It's just physics. It just depends on what size, you know, what the 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 greatest length that you can use. But as long as the connections are the same, and I'll go through that in the video. And then here's the card itself. As you can see on the box, it's just got basic stuff. But on the side, it tells you that it. I know on one side, oh, this side, it says, I think you might be able to see it. It says that it supports Windows 8, 7, Vista XP. Now, I've noticed with Windows 10, older de devices work out of the box, so we shall see. And here's the card itself. It came in this anti-static bag, but it's just a simple, It's it, this is an a X1. It's an it's a PCI Express card, and actually the box says it supports PCI Express 2.0, PCI Express slot X1, X4, X8, or X16. Now the X1 are real small, and you can see it on the motherboard. Sorry for the lack of lighting, but you see this the, the white slot the white slots right there. That's X1. You see the blue one. That's X16. I, I'm, that's either X8 or X16. But So this will fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Then also I have to press down on this tab. So then this releases these, these covers. Let's see if I can... I might have to... Let's see. I'm trying to do this without moving my computer. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Oh, you press up. That's right. You press up. And you lift out. Now, I took the blank out. This was factory installed. You just twist them. I don't want to remove them. But you see this one below right? Let's see. i got to get right here. You just press down on it. And you just kind of twist them back and forth. And they right here and they come out. But I don't want to remove that one. So I'm going to just slide in the card. I don't need to add that additional connector. Whoops, I have it. I have it the wrong way. So you just slide it in and you just there it slides right there and it's flush. And then I'm gonna screw it down. I always screw down. Then what you do once you screw it down, you just move this lever back and you just make sure it's tight. And that's it. So this will be the end of this part. There'll be three separate parts, but one video. Adios. Ultra video party. Oi. I'm back. So as you can see I have the TN wireless card installed and now I just need to connect the radio antennas. Now you see how small they this these are? These are very small. But I have larger ones right here. I've got I think this is like 5 
five inches or something like that and this is really long I think this is nine inches this one will fit believe it or not see the end it's the same connector and see they all have the same connections but for now what I'm gonna do just to get this working I'm gonna install the two ones that are provided but later on I'm gonna test these this is from an old alpha device Th these are both from an alpha device but they've got the same connections so you just screw in the antennas you just do it one at a time and they're just real simple and then they they twist these aren't very good because they're they're very they're small but you can always whatever will fit and whatever the card supports you can always upgrade so I've got two obviously one is super large but at least I can replace one with with one of these that it, that's longer it's about five inches at six inches something like that okay so that's it so then I'm going to come back and I'm gonna boot up Windows 10 and we'll see if it works right out of the box adios Ultravator Putter 2 Oi I'm back so to try to finish this installation of this TP-Link TLWN881ND, it's a 300 megabits per second wireless and PCI Express adapter, supports 87 Vista XP. It also supports PCI Express 1. What is it? 1, 4, 8, and 16. All right, so let's see in Windows. Now what I want to do is I want to unplug my Ethernet cable because I've got, the, I was using a router, so we're, we're going to unplug the Ethernet cable, and we're going to see if this will work right out of the box. Open networking. All right, then we can see. change adapter settings there's the Ethernet there's the Qualcomm Atheros AR9287 wireless network adapter and we'll see if it'll connect show available networks oh so Windows loaded the driver for it now I use Xfinity Wi-Fi so we're gonna connect to this and we're just gonna see if it'll connect. I've connected there before so it should have my credentials. But we'll see if right out of the box that oh, okay it wants me to log in. That's fine. We're almost there. I will be right back. I just need to log in and then I think this will work. Be right back. I'm back as you can see I'm on the internet so my Xfinity Wi-Fi credentials were accepted I mean we can go we can go to YouTube and I'll just show you it's working now this was on Windows 10 64-bit professional and I have a cooler master case and a gigabyte motherboard and what we can do is we can go back here and we can look at the speed I think we can look at we can look at the properties and see what it's connecting at. I guess it has Qualcomm Atheros AR9287 chipset, I guess. And what we can do is there should be a we should be able to look at the where's that at? Oh status. So look look at the speed. Now this is a three hundred megabits per second device it's connected at 144 the signal quality isn't very good that could be why it's only connected at 144 but that's I think that's technically end speed that's the slowest end speed I think 300 megabits per second is the fastest but as you can see it's connected to Xfinity Wi-Fi I'm happy with that I'm not happy with the signal quality but what we can do is the details you know it's got an IP address blah blah 
what I do, I have my own caching name servers. That'll help a little bit. And I'll change I'll change it to my local caching name server and my little anyways, not to digress about that. So I'm I'm okay with that right now. So out of the box, as you can see, it works. Now the other thing what we can do is drivers. I'll look for Windows 10 drivers. That can affect your connection signal quality, believe it or not, because the hardware needs to know how to talk to the software, meaning the operating system. And if it's just you, it looks like Windows 10 has drivers for it, but I'm going to still go out to TP-Link, and then I'm going to look for drivers for TLWN881ND for Windows 10. Hopefully they have Windows 10 drivers. If not, you know what I'm saying. For now, I think this will be functional. Let's see, what can we do? I don't want to play a YouTube video because I don't want to get a copyright strike, but just a test. Also, look at look at the, the antennas. Look how small they are. I mean, those, those aren't very good. You'll have to excuse all my wires, but I've got a longer one. And I'm going to test this one. I'm going to even try to hook this guy up. And I might make a video and tell, and tell you if that helps. But what we can do is we can close out of this now. And I don't, I'm, I'm trying. I'm just trying to test. What can we do to test speed? I don't want to play a video though, but because you'll get a copyright, you can get a copyright strike. I'm trying to think what what we can do here on the internet. How about we'll just look up my weather for my weather forecast? How about that? But I didn't have to drive load any drivers. It it is not the blazing fast. That that could be the DNS servers because right now I'm using Comcast, and quite frankly I'm not impressed with theirs. But I mean we can go back t to YouTube, and it seems okay. Let's just scroll down. Eh, it's not the best, but it could be the DNS. It could be the drivers. So we've got some work to do, but out of the box, it worked on Windows 10. And I'll let you know, I might make a second video, maybe a, a review video. This is just the installation video. And I'll go over and I'll let you know, did one of my other antennas help? You know what I'm saying? Where is it the drivers? Was it the DNS servers? Adios.